Dio's kids are possibly one of my favorite concepts from Stone Ocean. I like the idea that you take the main antagonist of the series and you bring his kids into the matter. I like what they did with Giorno, and I like what they did with Versace and all of his crew. And honestly, Versace is probably the one that most people like the most, because he's the most developed of the group, and understandably, he's probably going to be everyone's favorite. Though, most people forget about Rikil, and his stand sky high. And I know some people out there want me to be more positive about Part 6, given that it's my least favorite part and it's the part I rail on the most. So I thought, why? I cover another thing that I really enjoy about part six. Man, you guys are really gonna hate me when I do the Yo-Yo Ma episode. With that out of the way, let's get right to the action. First, let's look at Rikil's namesake. Rikil's name comes from Sonia Rikil, a French fashion designer. I don't know if there's any specific meaning for him having her name, but I do know that part six introduced a lot of characters with fashion designer names instead of just song lyric names. Let's talk about Rikil now more as a character. He was born without knowing his father. His father ends up being Dio, and then he suffers from sudden panic attacks, or he was suffering from sudden panic attacks growing up as a child. These were very mundane things such as his eyelids falling down and his palms getting covered in sweat from his panic that he was just a complete mess. These mundane things, they were completely overwhelming, catastrophic disasters. This personal quirk of his led to his development of a horrible self-esteem issue, which Father Pucci then rids him of when he reveals to him his true power. He then displays his own father's determination to achieve his goals. Suddenly, after realizing his power, he starts to idolize human progression as a whole. The idea that he could go from such a coward to becoming such a brave fighter is a great idea to him. That he could do this all from the helping hands of someone else, he is willing to help Pucci achieve a goal, achieve his heaven, and allow all humans to have this. He finds this goal a goal worth dying for. He compares himself a lot to Apollo 11, the moon mission in which we first walked on the moon. This is a great human achievement, and he decides that this is the embodiment of who he wants to be, a great human achievement. And with all this build-up to him wanting to be this great hero-like character, in fact, if you look at some of his dialogue and, like, some of his poses, he appears to be, like, in any other JoJo part, he could have been the hero. Hell, he even has the star birthmark. But his failure is also played into by the fact that Sky High is the song that he is based on. If you look into the lyrics of Sky High by Jigsaw, you'll notice that it's a lot of giving it everything you've got and then still ending up with failure. You have lyrics such as, I gave you love, I thought we had made it to the top, I gave you all I had to give, why did it have to stop? And through this, you may notice that Rakil is kind of a tragic hero character. If they had chose to have him side with the protagonist, it wouldn't have come as a shock at all, honestly. Now let's discuss Rakil's panic attacks. Now these panic attacks could be his stand acting in a negative way, much like Holly Kujo. As we know, stands can activate outside of their user's control and possibly damage the user. We also know that they can act out of their user's control and not damage the user, as we see with Gold Experience and Giorno when he was just like an eight-year-old child and he saved that gang member but when we look at what happens to Jolene Emporio and Hermes inside of the helicopter when they're exposed to the heat sucking abilities of the rods we notice that they have the same type of panic attack symptoms that Rakil did their eyelids were uncontrollable they got sweaty palms all of these negative effects that he was having are now being forced upon Jolene and the crew this could mean that the rods have always been around Rakil and that they've always been sucking his heat because his stand kept telling Telling them to do it and that's why his panic attacks happen so suddenly and no one would understand why because the rods are not noticeable but yeah speaking of his rods we might as well start talking about the stand itself actually now the stand stats go no destructive power C in speed B in range it's specifically Rakil's vision A in durability none in precision and no developmental potential design wise we've never seen it actually in the manga itself besides the stand page in which we get the stats and the ability now it appears to be this frog like wristwatch which has a kind of pterodactyl head sticking out of it for some reason, but this allows Rakil to control the rods. Now, I've been using the term rods a lot. What exactly are the rods? Well, in reality, in our universe, they're nothing more than a visual error at the faults of our camera's capturing capabilities. In JoJo's Bizarre Adventures universe, they are a real insect life form. They can reach up to 200 kilometers per second. They are supposedly the modern equivalent for an ancient 400 million year old creature Creature, they cannot be felt or seen by normal means, and once they die, their body instantly dissolves. Now what can 
these rods actually do? Well, to maintain their incredible speed and to maintain their incredible body, they need to consume something. This consumption is heat. Just heat, like body heat, any form of heat. By themselves, they're nearly harmless, but when Sky High directs them to a specific area on a person, that part of the body becomes incredibly prone to disease. Now, he doesn't use this ability to kill anybody. In fact, he only uses it to slow them down, so he can get closer to them. The closer he gets, the more precise his stand can be. Though, even at a distance, the stand is basically able to control someone's muscles. He's able to control whether or not Hermes can move her hand or even speak. And as the fight goes on, he learns newer and newer specific locations to strike, such as his choosing to strike the back of the neck in order to cause a instant kill. It would shut down the brain completely. He also has other cool tricks, which is like targeting the hypothalamus in the enemy to make it so they're viewing everything at a few second delay, meaning he can get around them and target different areas. He can also use the rods to completely numb any nerve. These powers alone make Rakil probably one of the most intimidating fighters in JoJo, and he's only defeated through pure bullshit. And honestly, he only leaves me with a few questions. I only got like one issue. Why the fuck is he dressed as a cow? I, I don't know. And if you have the answer to that, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. And if you want to give me money, you can support me on patreon.com slash guy. Have a lovely day.